The gospel text of today is taken from the gospel of Matthew, chapter 13, verses 44 to 46. The parables of the hidden treasure, which is in Matthew 13, 44, and of the pine pearls in Matthew 13, 45 and 46, are found only in the Gospel of Matthew. In both the parables, the one who finds, goes and sells all he has for the sake of what he has found. However, the one who finds the treasure in the field finds it by accident and is not actively looking for it, whereas the merchant in search of fine pearls looks for it actively. This is probably why the one in the field is filled with joy, whereas the merchant, knowing that he has found what he is looking for, is not filled with joy, but is willing to give up everything for the sake of the pearl that he has found. Though some may find the action of the man in the field who hides the treasure questionable, it must be noted that the parable does not legitimize the man's action of hiding, it focuses instead on the action of his selling all that he had, of his giving up all that he had only in order to possess the treasure. The point of the parables seems to be that the dawning of the kingdom calls for reflection on one's old values and the determination to give up those old values and to opt for the new values of the kingdom. The old values of accumulation, of selfishness, of self-centeredness have to be given up now for the new values of otherness and of sharing and of reaching out to those in need. We may have become so used to our selfish way of looking, our selfish way of being, that it may not be easy for us to adopt now this new way of looking outside of ourselves and of looking at others as much as we look at ourselves. If we can do this, then indeed we too, like the person in the field and the merchant in search of pine pearls, have indeed found the treasure in the field and have indeed found the pearl of great price. Let us pray then that we will be able to do this. Amen.